Cape Town is facing water restrictions after two years of the lowest rainfall on record. This car wash has cut the amount of water it uses by 90%. It's instead using eco-friendly chemicals to get the job done. First of all, we start losing customers because some, most of our customers, some of them were aware of the water problem. And they were like, those who used to bring their cars like four times a month, they start bringing once a month. Cape Town has just a hundred day supply of water available. Its leaders are putting emergency plans in place to make sure the city doesn't run out. While Cape Town has cut its consumption by almost half, it's not enough. Almost all the water used by the city's four million people comes from dams like this one. But the dams are barely a third full and it's not expected to rain anytime soon. So we, we watered this this morning. Small-scale farmer Nazir Sande says things didn't have to get this bad. He runs a one-acre farm based on saving water. He says the city should be using its wastewater better. Fresh water and energy is used to clean up this wastewater and then it's dumped into the sea. What we've been saying for the last eight years is that the plumbing of the wastewater should be reversed to allow that clean water to come into the Philippi horticulture area uh, and, and held in ponds in our area so that the water can be used to recharge the aquifer um, and also to, to be used for agriculture. The city recycles about 10% of its wastewater, which it mainly uses for irrigation, but it wants to process more for people to drink. I think there's a possibly a stigma attached to it. It's seen as dirty water, unsafe, unhealthy. Um, however, if it is taken through the sufficient treatment phases, it is completely safe to drink and obviously the city would not expose our residents to any risk. There's been talk of investing in desalination plants, but critics say it's too expensive and that wastewater management would better serve the city. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Cape Town.